A man who can stop a chainsaw with his, bear, hands, also turn into a bear, wolf, or an eagle. Yes you guessed it, it is Chuck Norris. This is an adventure comedy film called Forest Warrior released in 1996 and directed by Aaron Norris, spoiler alert. While I might give you my opinion on the film, this is not a substitute for watching it for yourself. Links to the film are in the description. The film opens with a campfire story being told by Clevis Madison to a group of children about a man named Jebediah McKenna who was killed a century ago in the Tanglewood Forest while fighting bandits. Somewhere in the late 1800s on a beautiful mountain in the Pacific Northwest, a brave mountain man named McKenna dwells in the pristine forest land given to him by an Indian chief, the father of his bride. Unfortunately, his bride is now deathly ill, and McKenna is rushing to bring back medicine to save her life. In the dark, rainy night, exhausted from his journey, McKenna is ambushed by loggers who want to plunder his land. He fights them valiantly, using an old Indian fighting technique called karate, but even his mad fighting skills cannot deflect bullets, and McKenna finds this out the hard way. Having been shot several times, McKenna rolls down a very long hill and falls off a cliff into a river. His body washes up on the shore, where a forest spirit in the form of a bear spots him. Realizing right away that this was no ordinary human, the bear spirit, along with a wolf and eagle spirit, use their magic to grant McKenna a new life as one of them. McKenna becomes a forest spirit and guardian of the mountain. As such, he can take the forms of the three animal spirits who saved him as well as his manly original form. As the years pass, McKenna intervenes whenever humans endanger his forest land and he quickly becomes the stuff of campfire stories. Fast forward to the present day. A small lumber-oriented community has grown up around the mountain, but Tanglewood, the forest where McKenna once lived, has been left largely untouched. Until now, that is. Greedy half-wit business tycoon Travis Thorne has gone behind the backs of the townsfolk and made arrangements to begin logging Tanglewood. Thorne's flunkies, under the command of a mean-spirited bully named Williams, begin surveying the forest when they encounter some suspiciously precocious children. These are the self-proclaimed Lords of Tanglewood, a group of kids from town who ride their bikes into the forest to play and have wacky adventures. Their base of operations is a treehouse the size of Charles Foster Kane Zanadu where they are allowed to camp out without adult supervision. Here is a brief breakdown of the kids and their general characteristics. Justin, short, geeky but self-assured, the brains of the operation. Austin, the lone female, pretty and tough, but with a tender side. Logan, doe-eyed, curly-topped runt, the heart and soul of the group. Brian, oldest member, long blonde hair, slightly arrogant, probable future stoner. Louise, generic kid with no distinguishing traits, possibly a relative of one of the producers. The kids stumble across Williams and two of his men as they are about to shoot a bear cub. Austin yells at them to stop, which they do, but only to turn their menacing attentions towards the children. The forest warrior takes this as his cue to appear and administer an ass-whooping to Williams and company. He congratulates Austin for her bravery, then disappears. Williams reports the trouble to Thorne, who suggests that the presence of those darned kids will continue to be a raspberry seed in his molar unless their treehouse is destroyed. He sends Williams back to Tanglewood to do the dirty deed. While the kids are off fishing, Williams plants no less than a dozen sticks of dynamite under the treehouse and sets a timer to blow the place to kingdom come. Austin happens to come back early and is nearly transformed into pretty, pigtailed chunks. Luckily, the forest warrior is there to save her, bringing her back from death with magical glowy lights. It's an easy task for the townsfolk to figure out who was responsible for the treehouse bombing, and the sheriff also learns about Thorne's plans to begin his illegal logging operation. Sheriff Ramsey, along with Austin's frequently drunk dad Arlen, and local store owner and friend of the children, Clevis, form a small posse and go after Thorne. Meanwhile, the kids are way ahead of the adults setting booby traps for Thorne and his men in Tanglewood. The Lords of the Tanglewood rally in response to this. They prank the loggers with numerous booby traps, impeding Thorne's efforts to chop down the forest. They also play rock music on a ghetto blaster, which causes the loggers to dance around idiotically. 
Finally, McKenna appears before Thorn and intimidates him by turning into a bear. The terrified villain calls off the deforestation and confesses all of his wrongdoing to the authorities. With their forest saved, the townspeople rebuild the kid's treehouse while Austin sees McKenna's spirit reunited with that of his Native American wife and Tanglewood Forest is safe once more. If you like movies that make sense and create good mood, here are some other recaps to check out. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more like this one. Please comment your opinion and what should we watch next and I will see you in the next video.